Also ja, Friends of so much, the city and CTV official from where can you get knowledge of English? Have you ever asked yourself for those speak English fluently? This is our everyday slogan. Dear friends, I love you so much. I think that you have subscribed. If you have not subscribed, please you do it for my sake. After doing it, you are going to watch the video. After watching the video, you make sure that you are going to leave a comment and like. After liking the video, you are going to share the video with others. This is our unique principle. Friends, I love you so much. People from Europe, people from America, people from Asia, people from Africa, people from Australia. I love you everywhere you are. Really, you, you watch me. You follow my lessons. You have really been convinced. I make sure that all of the teachings are satisfying your needs. You are introducing yourself. You are introducing your activities without any problem. Thanks to TNC TV official. We are reaching more than 3,000 subscribers. Meaning that you continue to subscribe, continue to watch the videos, you continue to advise us, you continue to motivate me. I'm ready to satisfy your needs. My name is Teacher Celestine. I was born in Rwanda. I grew up in Rwanda, studied in Rwanda. I did more researches about English. I've seen that is possible to practice English like American, like a British, like English native. You can speak English freely. You can get confident. Mm? You can transmit your messages in different areas where people they speak English. You can be the best conviser. Huh? You can compete in different activities and you get successful because of knowing English thanks to TNC TV official. Yesterday you have seen that there are some two kinds of problems. Two kinds of lessons you have to master. Lesson number one should be the nouns. Lesson number two should be the pronouns. I think that the effect is not the first time you are opening the videos here. You have seen that you have to know more about the people, animals, the things, places, times, and the ideas. By here, I think that everyone is convinced. You have seen also that you have to know eight, ki eight kinds of uh, for pronouns you have to master. Means... Uh, personal pronouns, possessive pronouns, demonstrative pronouns, relative pronouns, interrogative pronouns, reflexive pronouns, indefinite pronouns, and reciprocal pronouns. By here, I think that everyone is convinced that he must understand more about these pronouns. If we are still having the challenges about these pronouns, if we have some confusions, you cannot speak good English. Your English is going to be excellent. It's going to be Fluent on the condition that you know more about the pronouns. Today, let me tell you what you are supposed to do to know more about the verbs. You know verbs? In English, you know verbs. Okay, there is a chapter that is very sweet, that is very beautiful. You have to know that is called the verbs. Most of the people they study the primary, secondary, university, until now they are still having the challenges about the verbs. What can you do to know more about the verbs? When I ask you, please what, tell me what you know about the verbs. You have to reply by saying, I know that in English there are only three kinds of verbs. Means auxiliary, modal verbs, and the full verbs. You master the verbs like this. You say, I know verbs. I know there that in English you can find auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, and full verbs. You know full verbs? You know modal verbs? You know auxiliary verbs? I think so. What auxiliary verbs you must know? Number one is to be. You have to know to be. How to conjugate the verb to be. It is shameful, it is shameful to meet someone who studied and says that I don't know how to conjugate the verb to be in a simple present either. Huh? You have to know to have. You have to know how to can eh, describe, you can conjugate it to have. In a simple present either. You have to know how you can continue the verb to do. In a simple present either. Because simple present is, ten, is the tense number one. You have to know. It is shameful to meet someone who has the confusions about the tenses. In English, you have to study by simple present. Where you are going to describe what you do every day. Say every day, I get up, I brush my teeth, I take shower, I put on... Mm, I put on a lotion, okay. I take breakfast, uh, I, wear, I wear my clothes, I go at a job, I work at a job, I come back home, I eat my lunch, I take a rest, I watch a movie, uh, I eat my supper or my dinner, I go to bed, then I sleep. Huh? 
This is a simple prison. You have to fast to vote to, to be able to tell what you do every day. You cannot say that you know English. You cannot tell me what you do every day. If you get unable to tell me what you do every day, really, you don't know English, go back to school or come here to TNC TV official. We train you. I tell you that if you are trainee in English, don't exceed the three months by learning English because within only three months you are speaking. If really you did a primary, secondary university, performing work in the classroom, in all classes, I'm telling you, within only three months you are speaking English like American, like a British, like an English native. I told you that is this year, 2024, is the year in which everyone is going to follow the lessons here to TNC TV official Ada is going to practice English freely like American, like a British, like a Eng English native. By here, I mentioned these three accents because I know they are desired one. Everyone desires to know accent of American. Everyone desires to know accent of British or English native. So that at the time, is going to hold the speeches Everyone is going to listen to what he's talking about. I think that you Americans, you Canadians, you Australians, you South Africans, you Nigerians, you Ugandans, you are following me, understanding what I'm talking about. Because I understand you too. Hmm? I listen to you. When you speak, I listen to you. I understand what you talk about. You too have to talk about to, 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 to talk and understand what you are you are saying. Friends, this chapter is very fundamental. You have to know more about the verbs. So in verbs, you are going to study what? When you say, I know verbs, I know auxiliary verbs, I know modal verbs, I know full verbs, you are going to study quickly what you call to our tense. To our tenses, I mean. Hmm? We have present tense, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. In the present, you are going to, to find the four types. Past, past tense, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. By here, you see, you have four types of past. Future, future tense, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. By here you see there are four types of future. Make sure that you don't have any problem about the 12 tenses. Do you have any problem about the 12 tenses? You give order of the book, get knowledge of English, I'm promising you that I'm going to teach you, I'm going to support you, I'm going to make you understand. You WhatsApp me, you mail me everywhere you are. There is no need to go to school. Hmm? You follow here to TNC TV official. You WhatsApp me. I'm ready to support you. I'm going to support you to understand more about the 12 tenses. When you know those 12 tenses, it means that you are going to start in the lesson that is called to create. How you create the story. Hmm? How you can create the story. I remind you that in English, you have to know more about the letters after letters, words after words, sentences. After sentences, you have to know how you are going to create the stories. Hmm? Where you are going to hold the speech in front of the public. Where you are going to hold the speech in front of the audience and you get the best conviction. They get satisfied of what you are saying because you have the techniques, you have the strategies of convincing the audience. Friends, today, let me last my video here. I don't want to delay any of my videos. What I'm telling you is that really in this year, 2024, everyone is going to follow the lessons to TNC TV official is going either to be able to introduce himself or to introduce his or her activities. Friends, I love you. Let me create another video that is going to satisfy your needs. Are you interested? If you're interested, share the video with others. Like, comment, subscribe. Huh? And you practice English every hour. And you give the order of the book, get the knowledge of English I do have here. And if you are a beginner, I'm ready to teach you the basic skills. After basic skills, I show you the techniques and the, 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 the strategies of practicing English like English native or American or British. Because before creating this channel, I'm telling you, I have made more researches about English. I have seen that it is possible to know it without crossing the borders of your country. Every world, you have smart devices, you follow me. I teach you, you tap me, you mail me. I try to make sure that you are getting satisfied of the lessons we deliver you here to TNC TV official. I love you. Bye-bye. See you next time.